Hey Pit Masters, what is up? Today we're going to make my stress-free turkey recipe. I've already set up my Pro-Q smoker and look what's on there. That's right, I got a chicken on here. I'm smoking this chicken for our stock and I'm going to show you my recipe. The stock is the magic ingredient for this dish and we're going to start off by cutting up these onions. We'll cut off the top and the bottom, take off the skin and then cut them in four. This is fresh celery, we're going to chop that up coarse as well. And last but not least, we're going to cut up these carrots. We'll put the vegetables in a large pan. To this, we're going to add our chicken. And look at that chicken. <laughs> it's picked up a good bit of smoke and look at those juices. Look at that chicken. It's built up so much flavor. The smoke is there, the crispy skin, the rendered down fat. Wow, this is going to be a good stock. We're going to add it to the pan and add around two to three liters of water to it and let it boil for two hours. The turkey is not, uh, not good. We have nothing, so we can't make a video. Maken. I didn't buy it frozen, it was already defrosted. Uh, I bought it two days ago and uh, it's supposed to be still good, but it's not. It smells horrible, uh, it's an absolute terror. Goed zo, dank u wel. Laag. Got one. Frozen? Yeah, frozen. So we need to figure out how to defreeze it super, super, super quick. Um, throw away this rotten turkey. I hate this so much. Oh man, I hate it when these things happen, but you always gotta look on the bright side. You always have to find that opportunity. You gotta fix the problem. It's Christmas, we're gonna fix it. Come on, let's go. Luckily we found a poultry butcher that still has a turkey for us. Of course, we're a few weeks away for Christmas. Um, so they're all frozen and they're not yet ready for Christmas, but we're gonna get one anyway, see if we can quickly defrost it and then cook it up. So that didn't work out well. No, no turkey. They were mistaken. They didn't have a turkey for me either. So there's there's literally no turkeys. I just checked Google. I called some people. There's literally no turkeys in like a, an hour drive from here, which is normally very close. But if you want to finish the video today, so I'm guessing no turkey, no turkey this year at all. You still gotta save Christmas. <laughs> we're gonna save it. Of course we're gonna save Christmas, but they're not gonna screw up Christmas. As a matter of fact, I think I, we got a backup plan. I got a ham still. We could make a ham. Do you like ham? I like ham. Okay. I'm going to save Christmas dinner with this ham that I still had laying around in the fridge. And actually having a ham as a backup plan or having a ham as the main dish and not as a backup plan, it's actually a great idea. I wanted to do this in a separate video, but a ham like this is three kilograms, around four kilograms almost. And it cost me 10 euros per kilo. So that means if we would do a normal portion for people, which is around 300 grams, it costs around three euros a person. That's actually really cheap for a Christmas dinner. And this is going to be the easiest Christmas dinner you ever made unless you made grilled cheese sandwiches for Christmas. It happens, it happens. This is a pre-smoked ham from a heritage pig and it's gonna taste amazing. We're going to thinly slice it. This is not for serving purposes, but it's gonna create a beautiful crust on the outside and that is going to taste amazing. They're all gonna curl up and turn crispy on the outside. Let's get this thing in the barbecue. Look at that. I like to add a little bit of cherry smoke wood. It goes so well with ham and this dish. I'm just gonna put in two chunks. It's gonna provide us with extra smoke and a ham like this can use a little bit of extra smoke. I want the ham to start roasting. So I'm going to let the temperature come up to 140 degrees Celsius. That is going to provide us with the caramelization on the outside, render off a little bit of that fat. It's gonna be so good. Hey Google. 
Speel Let It Snow bij Frank Sinatra. Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow van Frank Sinatra, oké. Okay. Ik speel het nu af op Spotify. Hey Google, who is the best pitmaster in the world? Aaron Franklin, Franklin Barbecue. Oh. He is the owner and pitmaster of Aussie Franklin Barbecue, probably the most famous everyman restaurant in Big Town. Google, stop. Google, stop. Hey, Google, stop. Stop. Hey, Google. Hey, stop. Stop. Cool. Yeah. Need to check on the meat. Yeah, let me finish this real quick. I will check on the meat. Okay, let me check. Wow, this is looking good. You can see that the ham is opening up like a flower. The outsides are turning nice and crisp. We're not so much cooking for a good gore temperature. We're cooking to get a warm ham, which is nice and juicy and crispy on the outside. It's time to put the glaze on. I want to start out with a hot pan, so we'll put this on our little stove. Then, there are only two ingredients to this glaze. Honey and apricot jam. Ah, chicken power. <laughs> Do they even have that word in English? Chicken power? Kippenkracht? So we'll put in a whole jar of, look at that, the apricot jam. And then half of the amount in honey. Now we're going to let this turn soft on our little stove. And mush down these apricots as much as you can. Can you already imagine our glaze going in there? And the Pro-Q is absolutely fantastic. We do not have a water pan underneath in the smoker. And the heat is coming up and it's kind of like roasting this ham, smoking it at the same time. And look at that result. Now, who wouldn't want that on a Christmas table? And there is our famous syrupy bubble. It's ready. You do not want your glaze to go on a ham cold. That will just kill the whole effect. You want it to caramelize. It needs to be hot. Well, brush that glaze on. Leave the chunk of apricots in the pan. Only the honey and the jam. Now you can clearly see why we sliced into the ham. The apricot is drizzling into that ham. We'll put the lid back up and let the glaze caramelize onto the ham. I think it's done, but just to be sure, we can check the temperature to see if it's warm inside. Hey Google, how much is 67 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? 67 degrees Celsius is 152,6 Fahrenheit. So that's 152 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa, this is a big ham. Should we uh, maybe add a little bit of color? Because it's just a ham, you know? I also bought some lettuce and just try it out and see what looks good. So I'm just gonna shred the lettuce off. I just bought a few of these cherry tomatoes. I think it looks good this way. Why would we even want to slice into this? What an absolute beautiful ham. But of course, we need to try it, right? So, without further ado, let's slice into this ham. And give it a try. Beautiful, shiny. Look at that sticky glaze on the outside. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, I just want to slice it open. I'm just going to slice it open so we can take a look inside. See if it's still juicy. This looks good. Mm. Look at that shine. Look at that glaze. The smoke flavor is there. We got that glaze and we got that smoke flavor, which is the one that I'm most excited about. Because if you buy these ham, they're like a smoked ham. They're not really smoked, but now we've definitely got that cherry smoke on there. We got it to crispen up on the outside, but still juicy on the inside. Mm. This is the best part. This is way easier to cook than um, a turkey. What a ride. At the beginning of the day, I thought I was going to be smoking a turkey. I'm gonna make it perfect for you guys. 
but we ended up with no turkey at all, throwing it in the trash. It really hurt my feelings throwing it away, but you know, there's no way of salvaging rotten food, so it had to go. Well, luckily, we found a solution to the problem. But maybe there's a conclusion here. You only get this one opportunity, that one Christmas dinner, and you absolutely can't screw it up. So you gotta make sure you got the right product from the right source. Make sure you got it right. Well, I hope you guys learned something, and maybe you should have a backup plan. But uh, maybe ham shouldn't be your backup plan. Maybe ham should be the plan. At this price, and such a good dish, it's a feast for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And a big thank you to you Pratunes, you guys freaking rock, as well as the YouTube members. See you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk and keep on grilling.